Hey guys, what's happening? This is Andre, and uh, I've been an Amazon FBA seller for the past almost 10 years. It's going to be 2013 in November is when I've started to sell on Amazon. So right now I'm uploading this video in 2023 in October, almost 10 years, guys. And I wanted to talk about the eight things that don't tell you about Amazon FBA. The eight things that you have to know about before getting into this business simple as that okay and we're gonna crack on straight away guys if you're looking to uh, start making money with amazon fba if you're looking to start making money with reselling products on a platform you can go and comment where the guide below this video guys i'll send you my free step-by-step -step amazon fba tutorial to get going right away completely free guys it's not going to cost you anything guys simple as that comment word guide like this video guys and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel guys okay so there's eight things that you have to know about the first one is you don't have to be buying from china to make money with Amazon FBA. Simple as that. For some reason, people think they need to go to AliExpress, they need to go to Alibaba and start buying in bulk, which is basically, you know, it, it's a model that actually exists on the platform. It's called private label. You can actually go and do uh, Amazon through the private label model. That's completely fine. But that's not something that you typically go and do if you're a beginner sell. That's a model which requires a lot more investment, a lot more cash and so on. And this is not something you would actually go and, um, you know, um, and do as a complete beginner. So you don't need to be buying from China. You can actually be sourcing for products um, locally if you want to make it work. Simple as that, okay? So no China. China is no need for that, okay? The second thing is, guys, you don't need to spend money on ads and advertising. Simple as that, okay? You don't need to spend money on, um, you know, pushing out your products in the search uh, engine. You don't need to worry about that whatsoever because Amazon does all the marketing and does all the work for you. When you're buying products, we typically resell them on existing listings with the existing BSR, bestsellers ranking. So that's why we don't need to advertise our products and do any Anything extra about it simple as that so you don't need money on ads to actually sell on Amazon FBA simple as that guys guys by the way if you're learning if you're getting some value from this video gonna, gonna make it very short and to the point make sure to like this video guys and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel guys this is very very important also guys if you're interested in mentoring I do offer FBA mastery program that is available guys uh, if you click the link below this video, guys, you can go and check it out. There's my program, FB Mastery program. Also, my School of Amazon, if it's available, that's my intense program. It might be available, might be not, depending when you're watching this uh, video, at what time of the year, and etc. It only opens up a couple times per year. Okay, guys, the next thing is that they don't tell you about, guys, which is actually linked to the first point with buying from China. You don't need to have 10 grand to start this business. So they tell you you need to have a lot of money to begin, like you need like five to 10 grand to make your first purchase from China, etc. A, you don't need to buy from China okay B you don't need to have uh, loads of money to begin because you can simply start with 200 to 300 pounds or dollars depending where you're buying and selling from I'm a seller on UK and Amazon US by the way guys I teach both I've sold in both I'm selling in both and I will be selling in both platforms guys they're amazing I've done FBA I've done drop shipping I've done loads of different things guys and you don't need to be spending 10,000 uh, up front to start this business 200 300 500 and you can begin i'm not saying you're going to make loads of money because it's, it's just all about cash investment but you can certainly start with just a couple of hundreds uh, on your amazon fba journey simple as that guys okay the next thing is guys that they also don't really mention to you, especially in those free videos that you find on uh, YouTube and etc. Guys, and I try to provide as much value as I possibly can. If you check out my guides that I have on my YouTube channel, there's a lot of free information, a lot of good stuff. Of course, I keep all the secrets and things like in my FB Mastery program, files, templates, support, my private support is inside there. But anyway, guys, the, the next point is, you know, they don't tell you that you can actually go and make loads of money with your credit cards and using cashback websites. Cashback websites like Top Cashback in US or UK, the UK version. You can use websites like Be Frugal as well to make extra money uh, back as well. That's absolutely fine as well. So you can actually go and make money in um, various different methods, especially if you're living in USA. You, do, you can actually go and make money in a lot of extra ways that way and that's going to be completely fine and that's just the best way around it you know you know making money that way all right so um, um you know yeah i mean they just don't give you the websites and uh, the thing is that you can actually go and leverage your credit cards and the fact is that you can actually go and leverage you know all the buying capacity like i said especially in usa all these loyalty programs all those extra cashback websites like rakuten for example is one of them i can give you as well for free use rakuten i'll leave a link guys below this video as well you can actually start making some decent cash uh just by making purchases making extra you know five to ten percent back on your purchases using 
you know, different websites, different cards, and etc. guys, okay? The myth number five, and the myth or something they just don't really tell you about, I wouldn't say it's a myth, uh, because it's just something that people talk about, but they don't really break it down for you. You don't get suspended with OA and RA models. You don't get suspended doing retail arbitrage and online arbitrage, okay? Simply because it's not against Amazon terms of services. It's just not, okay? It's it's, it's not, you can do it, okay? If so something is against terms of service like drop shipping, yeah, you cannot go and do drop shipping where you basically, you know, drop shipping from retailers and shipping it in a Walmart boxes and etc. okay? But, you know, the thing is with, um, RA and OA, Amazon looks at it, you know, differently. You have receipts with your purchases that you make from, let's say, TK Maxx or Argus in UK, Smith's Toys, Boots, whatever. Your sources in US, it's Walmart, you know, Home Depot, whatever you're buying from, you know, Bargain Fleet, you know, Overstock, wherever you're sourcing from, Loaves, doesn't matter, Marshalls. You have receipts, which you can still show to Amazon. That will still prove, that will still, you know, be a proof as a legitimate purchase that you actually go, went and made, you know, from a retailer, you know, rather than you were drop shipped, which is, again, to us and etc so they still can see that it's not counterfeit if you get like an ip complaint and etc yeah with ra OA, you can get kicked off from the listing if a brand reports on you but you have to understand on which listings you can sell on which listings you cannot sell and that's where the training comes in that's where you need to have a proper mentoring and a proper course and a proper understanding on how the actual amazon fba model works okay and uh, yeah so you just have to know what you're doing and even if you get kicked out from the listing you just move away and that's completely fine guys okay now the the seventh thing you still have to put in some work you have to put in some work it's a business it's a business okay so um you don't just, uh, you know, end up making loads of money in the first month or two. I would say a good projection is to have four to eight months to actually build a substantial business where you're making anywhere from like three to 10K per month profit. That's good. Even up to a year, I would say that's really healthy, okay? So don't think that, um, you know, you don't have to put in the work. You still have to put in some work. And of course, when I talk about putting in some work, FBA sounds like everything is automated for you, but the thing is with Amazon FBA, Amazon still requires you to find the products. They will be shipping the products on behalf of you to the customers and etc. but they'll still require you to actually find the products find the physical products, the profitable deals that you have to go and send into the prep center for repacking and relabeling, guys. And of course, after this, it goes to Amazon. Amazon does the rest of the work for you, okay? Yes, it's very automated, but still have to put in some work. And the the eighth thing, guys, before, we, before I tell you the eighth thing, which is really, really important as well, and I think you need to hear about it, I want you guys to comment word guide below this video, guys, to receive my step-by-step -step Amazon FB tutorial, as well as don't forget to like this video, guys, if you're getting loads of value, and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, guys, as well. This is really important. Important, guys if you have any questions you can also ask away in the comments guys i'm more than happy to help you guys out and uh, whenever i see questions i also reply back myself this is one of the few social media platforms that I actually manage on my own i do manage pretty much most of my social medias even though i have everything outsourced for my e-com businesses because i don't really touch the e-com side of things so i have my vas virtual assistants and etc guys okay so the eighth thing guys uh you have to remember this is a marathon okay it's a marathon it's not a race you know it's a long it's it's a long-term business that's something you have to pay attention to, guys. You have to treat it in a one to three year spectrum and you have to treat it like it's gonna pay you for many, many, many years up front. I've been doing this, guys, since 2013. Every single year, I hear people saying, oh, it's too late to jump on Amazon. It's too late to start making money on Amazon. It's too late to, it's too saturated. It's, it's not, you know? Amazon is growing. Look at their revenue. Look at the products they're bringing in, okay? They are adding trillions of dollars of revenue to the platform, trillions of pounds and dollars on the US and UK platforms and between all the other markets and they keep expanding and opening up more, you know, uh, marketplaces and etc. guys. Amazon is not going anywhere. Amazon is going to be there for a long time, for good time. I've been I've been doing this guys for 10 years. Almost 10 years right now, guys. It's insane. I remember what I was saying I've been doing it for 2 years, for 3 years, for 5 years. Now it's 10 years, guys, and I'm sure I'll be standing and doing another the video guys in 15 years and 20 years as well for doing, doing amazon fba because i truly enjoy it guys i love it it's an easy business to do it's an easy business to teach people as well and i'm here to help you guys to proceed and actually start making money with this okay simple as that okay so hopefully guys this video was valuable i've managed to cover most of the points hopefully if you have any questions, you can ask away in the comments. Like this video, guys. If you're up for mentoring, FB Mastery program is available or School of Amazon, if you're lucky. That's my intense program. Cheaper, but it has less support. Like, it's more intense, six weeks and bang on, and that's it. FB Mastery is a lifetime, and it has wholesale part in there as well. Uh, School of Amazon just has arbitrage. So yeah, guys, uh, check all my other YouTube videos, guys, as well. That's really important, and, you know, also. And I'll be wrapping up this video, guys, and we're good to go. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.